Hi friends, I am Joel John and this video is going to be about Valentine's Day, it's ancient history and, uh, how, and I don't know how many of you know the truth that Valentine's Day is not about improper relationship, it's about married and legal relationship but it was considered to be illegal at that point of time and uh, this is about uh, proper tradition and a cultured way of life and it's not about a uh, one night stand or a living together kind of relationship how it was being misconceived misconception is there on the society and uh, also it's uh, pr the main reason for celebrating this day is uh, saint valentine but it's not uh, it's so it's called as a christian festival as uh, pope uh, louis me uh, proclaimed this to be a holiday when the churches of rome came into the control of european churches so this is about the little bit uh, outlook of uh, the video which we are going to see and we are also going to see the Valentine's Day dress codes and also how marketing well has changed the Valentine's Day and uh, this after watching this video you will uh, get to know about how Valentine's Day is a day of humani humanity, prevention of child abuse, women abuse and also we will be getting into a lot of uh, details about um, uh, the ancient Rome festival called as Lupercadus, which was a non-humanitarian and a sin against women and uh, how Valentine opposed this and uh, after uh, the days run out, how this is being celebrated all over the world. And uh, Lupergadus earlier uh, is, is the festival which was celebrated on 15th of February in Rome where before uh, getting into relationship the male will beat the female that's uh, his spouse and with stone and uh, we will beat her with wipe and make her to bleed a lot. So with that pain after that they will have the relationship and uh, if a child born that will be believed to be a best child. So this is a kind of a superstitious belief, a crime against women, a crime against humanity. Why this was being uh, uh, followed is this is a kind of a pagan, that's a, a religion which was followed on ancient Rome and uh, it's a belief that this is the best way to get the best child and also they will uh, cut a dog, kill a dog or a goat as a sacrifice to the pagan god before doing this. And uh, if you look at the origin of uh, HIV virus, which is a deadly disease today, which has no cure, uh, it originated from an African superstitious festival where they kill a gorilla, take its blood and beat the men uh, who, are, who are all uh, sacrificing or uh, undergoing the religious ceremony with the wipe and the men also will bleed. After bleeding, they will apply the gorilla blood on their body. At that time, the HIV is a gorilla virus gorilla monkey virus that get into the human body and now it's being a threat for the entire humanity. So to stop superstitious and hurting humans is very essential. And um, uh, what's now let us see how this tradition uh, was uh, uh, you know being uh, intensified by this Roman emperor called Claudius Me. The Claudius Me ruled Rome between 200 to 300 uh, after Christ and this person has a very unhumanitarian he has a war mindset emperor he wants to capture other country so he wants his young soldiers to be bold after getting married the man gets into humanity he understands about the family he understands cry he understands pleasure he understands the value of life so he is not being a ferocious warrior so what he did was he banded marriage for his soldiers now, people prefer to be humanitarians than be warriors and kill others. Just think of a world where there is no country borders, there is no army stands on both the sides. I respect my army soldiers because they prevent me from being captured by the other army people. Whenever war happens, uh, human trafficking, human trafficking, child trafficking, drug abuse, all the antisocial activities happen at a huge rate. So to avoid war or being slave, each country spends crores and crores of uh, money on weapons which are mass destruction. So think how many couples will die, how many families will be destroyed. So and chemical warfare and these kinds of uh, unhumanitarian things. So this gives a mindset to a ruler, an emperor who is an autocratic, autocracy, democracy, autocracy form of rule, not a democratic. 
as Abraham Lincoln said, a democracy is for the people, by the people, and to the people. This is an autocracy is for the king, for the royal blood, for the ruling authorities. And even in democratic countries, people fight for their right for speech, right to think, right to live, right to communicate. Because that's, that, those are also being banded by lots of rules. And uh, during elections, still people have the right to select a party which gives full freedom of speech to the people. But I don't know how many election campaigns leaders announce right for speech or striking down the unhumanitarian or uh, laws which control the human thoughts and mind and speech. And if something happens like that, it will give the bath for true democracy. Recently, coronavirus spread down China. The initial doctor who diagnosed that was not allowed to speak about that, which lead to the spread, which leads to the spread of the disease at a wide level. So, uh, now Chinese seek for right to speech, right to think, right to communicate, and right to live their lives for themselves. And will that be possible on a capital communist country like China? The answer is, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a democratic change will get them a freedom. And, uh, but still, I appreciate the efforts taken by Chinese government to build a hospital in eight days, to give them proper facility, to uh, shut down the cities without minding about the loss on trade and uh, giving treatment to as many people as possible and the whole world to stand with them. We're supporting them with the, the dress, the safety dresses, safety mosques, all those. Because... If any human dies, it's a loss for us. We are all human beings. We have to love them as Chinese, as they are also our fellow human beings. Maybe the borders may be different, the countries may be different, but all of us are human beings. That When that mindset comes in all the countries and all the nationalities and all the races, the real love will be shown on the world. And then to getting into the story back, this King Clarius, as I said, he's a war-minded person. He banded the soldiers to marry. At that time, Christianity was a minority religion in Rome. The Saint Valentine was a popular pre priest, the Christian priest there. He continued to marry Christian couples. Uh, this news went to the pagan religion following, majority religion people. They also wanted to live as human beings. They don't want to go for war, kill someone and make this emperor get more and more treasures on his uh, <laughs> safes safe lockers. For his sake, why should so many men die for the lust of one man? Why should all the men miss out their love and life? So, they changed their religion and became Christians and married. This news went to this uh, cruel-minded uh, ruler, Cladismi. So, what this uh, Cladismi did was he sent his army troops and uh, jailed Saint Valentine and he was put on jail and threatened to proclaim all the marriages he did was wrong. That is a proper relationship binding one-to-one -one marriages or to be pronounced as illegal. How could a king do that? He is a king. That's an, In an autocracy, these kinds of things happen. In a democracy, I cannot say this will never happen. There is something called as law book. But if there is something unhumanitarian on the law book, it has to be taken down. And the main responsibility of this is on the elected uh, election uh, campaign and uh, parties which stood for stand for election. They have to announce these are the inhumanitarian laws passed by the other party. We will strike it down. Along with the welfare schemes they announce for the people, they should also give them right to speech and uh, right to share their ideas, thought, religion, anything. Until they hurt others or humiliate others or they fight with each other, everything for done for good and upliftment of the people, appraise of the people, for the well-being and knowledge of the people is good. This is my opinion. And after that, uh, now Saint Valentine is jailed and still they can jail a person but not his mind, but not his thought process, but not humanity, humanity but not love. They jailed him. On that <laughs> jail, there was a blind girl called Asturias, who is a who is the daughter of a pr uh, prison in charge. These two people fall in love, and <laughs> knowing this, the jail in charge uh, uh, jailed his uh, woman on his home, his child daughter on his home, and uh, before being crucified, Valentine sent a greeting to his lover Asturias. Uh, in which, with the sign as U.S. Valentine. This was for, believed to be the first Valentine's Day or a lover's card, <laughs> lover's greeting card, Valentine's Day card. 
sent by valentine and this became a mod marketing tool now and uh, so this shows that uh, even uh, you can jail a person but not ideas and thoughts then uh, he, uh, the cruel empire took him on a public place stoned him beheaded him and before beheading tortured him so much and um, as stains always die for humanity and as fellow human beings saint valentine also sacrificed his life after that pope louis louis me announced valentine as a saint and now he is called as saint valentine saint means a holy person and uh, later on uh, the churches of rome came into the control of uh, uh, the european churches so what they did was uh, they announced this uh, bugma bugam bugun was the name uh, given on rome and this as a valentine's day festival on 14th of feb they do had spreading christianity on their mind because uh, the humanitarian thoughts or the legal marriages or the proper social lifestyle everything came with christianity and there is also a misconception that in communion in churches they serve alcohol it's not alcohol it's a non alcoholic grape juice a very little amount of alcohol is added as a preservative which is even uh, added in syrup and all those so it's just a preservative and uh, that won't make you go to an unconscious state or uh, will not harm your health so i also thought of clarifying this along with the video another one thing is uh, this comes before the 15th the pagan festival so before the cruelty happens let the humanity come in this is a kind of an idea so valentines day is now universally celebrated apart from borders because all are human beings everyone want to be in love everyone want to live their life for their li- for themselves not for a ruler as he has got some soldiers he has got some troops and uh, he has got some authority to humiliate and uh, abuse others and always think of the minority people always think of the those who are being suppressed always think of the people whose rights were banned and always uh, have your thought process about democracy liberty and freedom because we have to live our life for ourselves and without hurting or spoiling the life of others that's when the real freedom and uh, real love happens and uh, now to talk about how the business well chain this is they started selling greeting cards on valentines day then sales of rose chocolates due to dress codes people want a different color dress to wear so that they started purchasing dress as well now we will talk about the dress code colors orange is already in love that person is in love with someone green is accepted and we accepted or waiting to accept the proposal okay and uh, uh, before that i will make you aware if someone is on the on this dress they may not be aware about the dress codes of valentines day or they wouldn't be knowing uh, that this is valentines day don't take it as granted this dress is a indication and do something and trouble me saying that this fellow put a video because of that i did it and don't take me to problems and uh, blue color is applications are welcome they are waiting to get some applications the, the and pink is going to propose when they go to propose they will wear pink color red already booked that's a on double side now black not interested in love or they will reject your proposal yellow failure or breakup their love is broken now white double side now rose proposals accepted okay and brown your broken hearts that's a kind of a failure kind of thing so this is about the dress codes so now we would have clarified that how why is valentines day called as a christian uh, festival and uh, how the women abuse was prevented by uh, the upcoming of valentines day and how humanity and love is being spreaded all over the world and today valentines day is not a religious festival it's being followed by all the people and it's being uh, celebrated as a day of humanity a day of love a day of human uh, race to live and spread so hope you all will go to have enjoyed this video a little bit i hope bored as my thought flow was not good in this subject okay friends and uh, uh i will kindly subscribe press the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel press the thumbs up 
appreciating my effort and uh, for sharing my thoughts with you also press the share button and wherever the social media links you have share this video so let them know that valentine's day is about a proper relationship not something which uh, spoils the society or which uh, uh, supports uh, illegal relationship what they call it as one night they stand or one day stand or living together or uh, multiple relationship or uh, openness towards multiple relationship this is not about that valentine's day is about a proper married and uh, one to one couple relationship and this is what is taught by saint valentines and this is what this christian religious festival gives to the whole world and uh, thank you very much for watching my video and share it with your friends and be in love love and love only always uh, be a humanitarian and serve the whole world it's time to say bye it's your joel john j signing off from you bye